Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking sunscreens, but I want to share with you the hints, tips, and hacks I've picked up along the way on my skincare journey. I want to feature this as part of my I Wish I Knew This Back Then series, where I talk about my journey and my experiences with each step in my skincare routine, and of course, the individual ingredients that I use day in, day out. I've talked about sunscreen a whole lot on this channel. We've talked about the best drugstore sunscreens, we talked about the best sunscreens for each skin type, focused down on independent third party testing but I realized I'd never actually sat down and shared with you the hints, tips, and hacks, the things I wish I knew when I started my skincare journey when it came to sunscreens. And we're gonna put that right today. So sit back, relax, and let's talk all things sunscreens. It is super hot here in the UK. So I thought this was a great time to film this video because you know, sun protection is really at the forefront of everyone's minds. But the risk of overheating, I have thrown open the windows. So if you hear any birds chirping, it's because we've got loads nesting in the garden. If you hear some seagulls, it's because I live by the beach. We just all can add to the ambience and the overall vibes of this video because I don't want to sit here sweating through an entire 10 minute filming session. So should we cut the waffle and jump straight into the hints, tips and hacks I wish I'd known before starting my sunscreen journey. First and foremost is that UVA matters. Six years ago when I really started taking my sunscreen seriously, people weren't really talking about UVA protection. We were all obsessed with the SPF, which measures the UVB level of protection that the product gives. UVB rays burn the skin, which is what we can notice, you know, after we've been out in the sun, it's the first thing we notice. But actually the UVA rays that we're equally as exposed to can cause cellular damage, cancers, fine lines and wrinkles, premature aging, hyperpigmentation, all the things we don't want in the skin. So it's really important that you get a broad spectrum product that covers you against both UVA and UVB rays. This can all get a little bit confusing because the UVA protection isn't standard globally. So you might see it represented by a star system, a PA++ system. Sometimes it's given a numerical value. It can all get a little bit confusing, but don't worry, I've got you covered. And later in the video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite broad spectrum SPFs that give you that gorgeous locked in SPF value and also fabulous UVA protection. So stay tuned to that because there's something for everyone, no matter your budget or your skin type. The second thing I wish I knew is that texture and formulation matters. So often when I started my skincare journey, I reached for a sunscreen that really didn't work for me. It either broke me out, it didn't feel great on the skin, it didn't sink in properly. And I thought, look, I just have to persevere with this. I need the protection and that's all that matters. It really doesn't have to be an enjoyable experience or work with my skin. The protection is what counts. This is totally wrong. And I think a lot of us have seen the light. It's all about trying different formulations, different brands, different styles of sunscreen to work out the one that's right for you. When you find that perfect match for your skin, stick with it because honestly, a sunscreen should be enjoyable to use. You should want to apply it because only if you enjoy the product are you going to be applying the right amount and frequently enough to really get the protection. So it's a complete and utter myth that you should just grab the one that you see in the drugstore and apply it irrespective of whether you like the product. You should try so many sunscreens to find your holy grail and where you do, grab onto it like honestly like it's gold dust because it'll be the best friend you'll ever have. Thirdly, I wish I hadn't bought into the unreal expectations which are sometimes given to us online. Why I'm talking about this is the reapplication of sunscreen. You read online if you're not reapplying your sunscreen every two hours you're damaging your skin. If you're not putting another layer of sunscreen on after you've gone to the gym you've towel then you're damaging your skin. It all just bred into that sense that if I wasn't doing all of this that I was damaging my skin, that I wasn't doing things properly and I almost felt a sense of shame. This element of skincare shaming has no place in our self-care and our skincare routine and in reality it doesn't take into account everyday life. You might be busy, you might be taking your family here, there, and everywhere. You might be holding down two jobs. You might be working a 12 hour shift. All of these things have to be factored into whether you're gonna be reapplying your sunscreen every two hours. It might not be the priority for you, and that is totally, totally okay. You need to make sure you're using products which work for your time constraints, for your budget, and for your lifestyle. And you should never, ever feel ashamed if you don't follow something to the exact letter, because any amount of sunscreen that you use is better than using not and you really need to feel that it should be empowering us it shouldn't be making us feel like a sense of shame or that we're not doing it right or that our skincare doesn't match up to others it's all about what's doing right for you Finally, I wish I hadn't got caught up in all the hype of the chemical versus mineral sunscreen saga. Not only is it a whole contrast with some people saying one works better than the other, one is a must and the other is a total avoid. You also get people saying, is min mineral, is chemical really the right words to be using for these products? All a load of rot. To us, the basic consumer that's just looking to protect our skin and have a product that we enjoy using, it really doesn't matter. Choose the one that works right for you. Do a little research if you want to work out which type would best meet your skin type. 
shape and what you're looking to get out of the product. But at its basis, as long as you're using a broad spectrum sunscreen, whether you choose chemical, mineral, or some of the fantastic hybrid options on the market, it really doesn't matter. It's all about protecting your skin. Now, with all that said, let's talk about my favorite sunscreen products of the moment. These are the broad spectrum, fantastic, tried, tested, and independently verified sunscreens that have got you covered. It takes the mystery out of shopping for your sunscreens because these are all fantastic options. First and foremost, I want to talk about the Bioderma Photo Max. Now, this product literally broke the scale when it was put through some recent testing in terms of the UVA protection that it gave. So we talked earlier about the need to have a high SPF and a high UVA rating on a product, and this has both. It scored 86, which is so, so sky high in terms of the UVA protection, and it also passed its verification of the SPF 50 plus claim that the brand was making. This is a gorgeous light fluid that I think would genuinely work for almost everyone's skin type. It didn't break me out, and honestly, when I finish through some of my other sunscreens, I'm probably going to reach for this again. I also want to give a shout out to Skinnies. You guys know I love my Skinnies sunscreens. The reason I like these is because they're so hydrating. So on those days where your skin's feeling a little bit dry, this could be a real best friend of yours. They do an SPF 50 and they do an SPF 30. Choose the one that best meets your um, level of protection you need. If you're living in a high UV exposure country or climate, you have underlying medical conditions or you have a very fair skin type, you might want to go to the SPF 50. For everyone else, the SPF 30 might be enough and I think offers a slightly nicer texture. These are shea butter base. They have broad spectrum UVA as well as UV B protection and they just feel gorgeous, gorgeous on the skin. Now, the Skinnies and the Bioderma are both chemical sunscreens. So what happens if you want to mix it up and have the best of the chemical and mineral UV filters on the market? Well, I would reach for this product that I've talked about time and time again. This is the Make Prem UV Defense Meat Fluid. This is a hybrid sunscreen that combines amazing um, chemical filters as well as mineral UV filters to just give you an overall amazing product. It is super, super lightweight and it's perfect if you're suffering from breakouts, if you have very acne prone, oily skin because it does give a beautiful mattifying feel to the skin but doesn't dry you down to that deadpan matte which can almost feel a little uncomfortable. I think this will be the perfect option for anyone that has combination or combination oily skin as a way of getting some hydration into the skin but also keeping that t-zone in check and that excess oil down throughout the day. I love this product. It's passed its SPF and its UVA testing to give you a guaranteed locked in protection, broad spectrum and a wonderful, wonderful option. If you're looking for a pure, pure mineral sunscreen. This can be a little bit difficult to find in a really nice formulation and texture, but one that I do want to call out is the Neod Survival. Now, this is one of those products that I use day to day. If I'm running a few errands, if I'm not exposing my skin to a huge amount of UV exposure, say at the beach, this is the product I would reach for. It feels like nothing on the skin. When I said earlier about finding that product that works for you and honestly clinging onto it like it's your best friend, this is that product. It gives you all the protection you need, but it gives a very light veil. It almost feels like you're wearing makeup even though you're not because you have that beautiful satin finish to the skin. The only thing I will call out is you don't get a whole lot of product and it is a relatively higher price point compared to some of the others so I'm never as lavish with this as what I would be with the other products and you need to bear that in mind. It's great for that light coverage when I'm running a few errands during the day but if I was exposing myself to high UVA, UVB levels say at the beach or out all day long I'd probably reach for the skinnies or one of the more heavy duty ones that I can be really liberal in terms of the application and make sure I've got that locked in coverage. This is what I said about always tailoring your sunscreen to your environment, to your skin type and your skin's needs. This is really important. So this is my day to day favorite sunscreen to get that gorgeous protection without feeling I'm actually wearing anything. I of course would love to know what your ride or die favorites are. There's so many other ones I could call out from the Ultraist sunscreens, which are fantastic. I love so many of the other try tested Korean sunscreens. I'll leave a link to a video I did on them up there if you want some even more fantastic options. But all I want to say is wherever in the world you are guys choose a sunscreen which works for you apply it as often as you're able to but don't feel ashamed if you can't live up to all the expectations that are set for you online and the main thing is that you've got a sunscreen that's tried tested and that you trust to deliver the protection you need wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well and look after your skin take care bye